Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Deercast. Today we've got our good friend Charlie Young here. You may recognise Charlie from previous episodes uh, and Charlie's going to talk us through his what do you want to talk about it? It's a Sig Sauer rifle, isn't it? Charlie? Yeah, the Sig Sauer Cross. So, launched about two to two and a half years ago, two years ago in the UK market. Uh, the Sig Sauer Cross represents kind of what they deem the biggest bit of development in rifle technology. It takes all the benefits of the chassis system that's been really popular, you know, with people modding out with GRSs and, you know, Bagaras and all that sort of stuff. But rather than being separate chassis from the barrel and action, it is a single receiver unit, so kind of similar almost to an AR platform, which it does of course share some similarities in the look. You know, this is probably the least Holland and Holland rifle one could own, but that's probably why I like it. It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, so its main feature is its weight. Yeah. Without any of the gear that I have, you know, pimp my ride in it <clears> with a bit, it is under three kilograms. That is very, very light, isn't it? It's it's properly light. It's excellent for packing up and up the hills. So, take down, let's say it's got the collapsible stock. Look at that. So, if you're wanting to put it in a backpack, so, just like so, it's kind of how yeah. I take it in my backpack if I'm going for a big bit of a walk around. Yeah. But also, you know, really good for getting in the back of the truck and things like that. Um, barrel, 14 inches, so, you know, it is on the, on the short side. My only negative is it does get a bit hot. So yep. five rounds in, you know, we're doing a bit of shooting just now. Yeah. It does start to wander. Which you'd expect for a light rifle. Yep. So that's... Um, there are now some companies in the States where you can buy carbon barrels for about £1,500 wow. that look chef's Beautiful. kiss. So okay. I might save up and get one of those, um, but probably not because I'm cheap. Okay. And um, speaking of money, what what's one of these going to Such a dirty you? phrase. Um, well, I think I don't know exactly what they are now because I didn't pay for it properly I know people but um, I think they are retailing at the moment for around two thousand pounds so you know if you're comparing them in, in, in rifle money that's what Seiko money yeah. yeah so yeah. I think if you're comparing it to Seiko it's you know it's a very characterful gun it's got a lot going on it's it's a bit of a gimmick it's a good laugh you know Picatinny systems um, M-Lock Kind of all along the barrel down there so i've got my bipod i've got you know a foregrip you know we've been using that in the cinema at holland and holland for a bit of driven ball practice it's not ideal uh, I... stainless steel barrel yes no rusting at all i mean mm. uh, the rifle can pop out as well very simple kind of to remove the barrel they're interchangeable oh, yeah. okay so they're doing it at the moment with 65 creedmoor 308 and something called 277 fury right. so 277 fury is the new u.s military standard round um, going to replace their 762. The ballistics are off the chain. It's mm. it's going to melt the barrels very quickly, but you know it will melt deer in the meantime. I guess. Okay. Well, thank you very much for talking us through that, Charlie, and thank you for watching again. Please do like, comment, and subscribe.